Welcome everybody once again. I'm uh, Cesar Ramos. I'm the uh, creator of uh, Advanced Planning Analytics and I created an Excel Gantt which I call BASIC which roughly is but I had a lot of requests to uh, create one that has uh, progress bars. So I put a little bit of thought into it and uh, that's what I'm going to post out today. I'm going to walk through it as fast as I can. But for those that haven't seen the previous video, uh, I'm just going to uh, say a synopsis here that as an example, professionals, managers, project controls, managers, or even planners may not have access to a scheduling software. However, probably management may have a need to create an executive level one or level two in the absence of that software basically a Gantt chart if you will so this was a quick tip and trick on how to do it so in this uh, example I'm gonna start with the one I created previously and for those of you that didn't see how I created this uh, I would just say uh, go to the previous video and, and uh, watch the video is not that long but for those of you that have seen it then I'm just gonna go ahead and start off from, from this point forward so I want to show progress bars in the sense of emulating progress so I put a little thought into it I'm gonna put this chart aside for now and in order to do that I have to do a few things I think I need to insert about three rows I'm gonna call one uh, Duration complete. I'm going to call the next row uh, remaining duration. And this one I'm going to call percent complete. So I'm going to change this row into percentages because that's what exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and type in 20% just to show progress. Now, I'm being very deliberate with the rows. I can make all these formulas in one cell. But because I want everybody to get a, an idea of formulas, I'm just going to show them row by row, column by column. So I'm going to take the duration times the percent complete. Oops, i got to change these to general. And then I'm going to drag that formula down. So basically, I'm saying whatever percent complete I type in here I'll just highlight that will show me what I have completed so four days out of 20 days and then for remaining I'll just take the original duration minus what's been completed you may want to call this actual duration uh, you can name it what you want or you can make all this in one formula it's up to you guys, but I, I'm just doing it to represent uh, values. So if you notice, these two combined add up to duration. So this is what I need for right now. I'll squeeze these down a little bit. So for the chart, if I work through this chart, I'm going to use the existing chart. I'm going to go ahead and right click, select the data. So I'm going to put this over here. Oops. So my days are already there. I'm going to have my start, my percent cumulative for the curve. But I'm going to add another one, and I'm going to call it, uh, I guess I'm going to call it remaining. Then I'm going to select my remaining days here. And I'm going to get something like this. Okay, it's going to look a little weird at first, so just bear with me. I'm going to right click this curve that showed up. It's a line, and I'm going to convert it back to a stacked bar graph. Now it looks almost like we're getting somewhere, right? Um, let me check this series type. It's also stacked good perfect 
So you notice that when I selected the original bars, uh, the original duration is selected. So here, what I'm going to do is take the duration complete to show the bars that are completed. And this will be my new remaining. So combined, this is still uh, your overall duration. But they look a little goofy right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my bars, format it to a color. I'll make them just a slight off green for now. And I'm doing this for a reason because I highlighted these as critical. And I want to change them back to critical. So by doing this, you select the whole series and it'll change the entire series. But I want to change only this independent one. Data point is what they call it. And I'm going to change this one to red. So it'll still act as it's critical. I'm going to select this one as red as well this one as well. I'm just trying to make it consistent with what I previously had. And this one, red. And then I'm going to take my data bars, the durations, you see it's highlighted again. Right click, format it, and fill This to the standard completed blue. Okay. Now, this looks obviously I just proportionately uh, use the percentage to gain distribution down, but uh, in a typical Gantt, you wouldn't see a progress bar equally progressed out in time without being actualized by a data date. However, you may, for whatever reason, want to represent progress bars in different degrees. Uh, hopefully, as they complete, they'll be completed. I was just doing this for the sake of an example. Um, so this gives you the idea on how to do it, and it'll be dynamic. So if you change your percentages, it'll adjust accordingly, right, as you can see above here. So if I did have a data date, and I'll do that by inserting a line here, and let's say June 2nd is close to our data date, I'll make that line a little bigger. Then these activities here, in this timeline, Oops, sorry. I'll just slide it down for now. Would be closer to progress. I'm just trying to make it aesthetically consistent. So you get the idea. Um, and then the rest of these will be blanked. Right? So there you'd have a data date bar, and then you could progress it dynamically. Uh, so this gives you the concept, right? And that's all I'm after is giving you the freedom of an idea to progress bars, have your remaining bars, and so forth, and that should work. These dates will be dynamic, so if you do change duration, percentages will change accordingly, uh, just like any software would take your duration percent complete. So uh, that pretty much covers this topic. Hope this helps you guys uh, in uh, pursuing anything you're trying to do or achieve. And again, I'll have this file downloadable for free on my link 
on my web page so if you go to scroll down to the bottom you'll find it uh uploadable all right so thank you for your time and uh see you next time